Hey guys, we're doing something a little different just for fun today. And if you're new to this channel, um, you know that I basically do like gear reviews and lessons and whatnot, and I release them every Tuesday and Friday. I'm going to put this up on a different day, and we're just kind of doing this for fun. So, you know, check out the rest of the channel if you get a chance. And uh, please subscribe and like and do all that kind of stuff. But uh, today what we're going to do is see if we can make some metal sounds out of the most unmetal stuff I have. Okay, so what I have loaded up here is an instance of Axe Edit for the Axe FX3. And I've got my telly, which although it has kind of that 70s, 80s, maybe almost like a Judas Priest, you know, with the, the black leather and the, uh, the studs here, uh, telly is really not a guitar you really think of as metal. It's more of a country twangy type of thing. Maybe you can use it for some jazz. And uh, the amp I have loaded here is a Roland Jazz Chorus 120, which is most decidedly not a metal amp. Mm. Kind of what it sounds like just natively uh, and i actually had a roland jazz chorus amp like back in the late 80s and i had a gig we were opening uh for zebra so by the way it's zebra and uh i had all this like rack gear and two four by 12 cabinets and i was super long hair metalhead guy and none of this stuff worked when we got to the gig i don't know what was going on but uh, for some reason i had brought the 120 with me as a backup and i ended up plugging in and doing the whole gig with it it actually turned out okay i don't remember feeling like it was difficult to play or the sound was that bad so maybe with this uh fractal version of it i might be able to recreate some of that uh, accidental magic that I had there and get some kind of metal sound out of it. So let's dig in and give it a shot. So first thing, I'm going to go over to the bridge pickup here uh, for rhythm playing, and I'm going to dial the tone back a little bit. You know, it's real brittle on a telly, so I'm going to bring it back about almost halfway. So it's going to be really like ratty and uh, trebly as it is. And when I add distortion, I don't want it to become like ear shattering. So first thing I'm going to do is we'll think about just raising the input gain on the amp up. Uh, which I don't think is going to be enough, but let's crank it all the way and I'll roll the volume back a little bit here because it's going to get loud and yeah, it's like imperceptible. There's, there's no real gain there. So let's just roll that back to normal and do what any good metalhead would do and we'll throw a distortion pedal in front of it. So now back in the 80s, I was using one of these M-Zone super fuzzy metal pedals uh, where is it? M zone. That's probably going to sound, I mean, it, it sounds metal. It's almost Pantera sounding, right? It's very scratchy though. I could try to EQ the heck out of it. I think I'm going to try a different pedal though. Um, when I loaded it up, I had this thing sitting in the window, a ruckus pedal. Let's see how that sounds. A little volume. I like that a little better. That's closer, a little cleaner. Needs a little bit of EQ. That's not bad. I could do with that. I think we're on to something here. I think we can make some metal out of that. That's a good pedal for it. Let's just see, just out of curiosity, we'll switch over here, try a different one. Use like the uh, Fractal Boost pedal. Nothing on that. Yeah, no, there's really nothing there. All right, so I think that's our pedal. Now we need to add for our lead sounds, we want a little bit of Pong delay, my favorite thing, a little stereo delay. Let's go for the ping pong effect. Yeah, 
If we want to play some leads, we can use that. So I think with very little adjustment here, I didn't EQ the amp or anything. I pulled up the right distortion pedal. It was a matter of picking the right one. And I got lucky, picked it quick because it was something I had sitting in there um, when I first loaded up. And a uh, slight bit of EQing to dial it in. It doesn't sound bad. It's kind of metal. Let's do like a little quick 30 second piece. I'll record it like split stereo left and right. I'm not going to EQ it at all on the deck. I'm just going to play, add some bass and drums and let's hear how it sounds in some kind of context. So not bad. It could work in a pinch. I'm not going to take it over, you know, using a Mesa or something like that and playing with like my Skervison back there, or one of those guitars that's got much higher output. But uh, if it needed to be done, I think it's doable. So if you guys have any questions or comments or anything you'd like to see me try different, uh, please leave it below. I'm always happy to get back to everybody. And until next time, guys, keep making great music. Hey friends, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. It makes the whole world better.